All right, we've got the wiring harness, the fuel lines, the exhaust, and then the brake lines off of both of these frames. So, I'll show you. Get all the lines off. Electrical, that's all gone. Brake lines split right here. So this half will stay with the front. We're gonna cut it right here somewhere. But this stays with the back. But everything's bare on this side. Come on this side, everything's bare as well. Then this frame, bare. And this side, took the brake line completely off. Probably reuse it as a factory line, it was in good shape. So I took all that off. So now the next step is to start measuring and uh, hopefully we'll start cutting then too. I made my measurements here, what I wanted to cut. So from this hole, from the edge of this hole, we're gonna cut forward four inches and straight down. And then from the edge of this hole backwards, we're gonna cut two inches and then straight up. So I think that'll give me plenty of service area for strong welds. These holes will probably end up getting filled up because I'll have a plate, a diamond plate like this on the inside of the frame. But we'll go ahead and make these same measurements on the other side of the frame over here. And these are the tools I'm using and then just basic carpentry tools. It makes uh, getting the right angles and reproducing everything as close as perfect as possible. So one inch, two inch. Straight up. straight across. All right, so we've got our lines made in this one and our lines made in this one. All right, I made some more measurements so I could square this up once I cut it and graft the other frame over here. So I've got 15 and a half inches from this line to the front of this cross member. I'll square that up right there. We've got exactly 15 and a half. Here, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. And then here we have 15 and a half. And so then I took another measurement to make it square, 35 inches from this line to the back of this cross member. So butt it up just like that. Then come over here. And we've got 35 inches exactly, depending on where you're looking at it. Come on, focus, 35 inches. And that's the same from this corner over here. here 35 inches so I'm gonna to try to reproduce those exact measurements on this guy and then once I feel like I've got the measurements exact I'll go ahead and start cutting it took a grinding wheel or a wire brush and a grinder 
and knock down all that oil, hit it with some brake clean, and then this will be my pattern on this side. And then on this side, the same thing wasn't quite as bad. We've got it coming up from here, going over and down. We'll get to measuring this side now, try to reproduce the measurements from the four-wheel drive to the two-wheel drive frame, and hopefully we'll get them cut apart yet today. Yeah, a lot of work, really. I thought this was gonna be an easy body swap <laughs> from the two-wheel drive frame to the four-wheel drive frame, and I just can't leave well enough alone, I guess. All right, we've got both frames completely measured and marked out so we're going to take a grinder and we're going to start cutting. So we're going to start with this one first. This half of the frame is what I'm not going to use. So I marked it with the X's. So I'm going to try to leave, I'm cutting off the black lines but I'm going to try to leave this side totally intact. And then the other frame when I cut that one I'll cut on the other side of the line and that will hopefully make up for the difference in the gap of the cutting wheel so the frames stay exactly the same length that they were when I weld them back together. So I'll get you guys in a tripod and we'll start cutting. And you can see it's got a little spot here and then the same in this corner. That one popped a little bit. Otherwise completely through. Now we'll come over here and we'll start this side. And I have jacks under the front of the frame and the back of the frame. So I'm not really too worried about it going anywhere.
Oh, she's pretty much cut. There's not too much holding this thing together anymore. two pieces. See if we can't roll this one back. Well, there we are. We got nice straight cuts. Real happy with that. So this is what we want to keep. This is the front half of the four wheel drive. It'll probably end up making maybe maybe we'll make a trailer out of this and put the old bed back on it. Now we have to do the same thing. Last time I cut the line off on this side. This is the scrap piece basically. And I try to keep this side nice. I do the opposite on this one. I want the back nice and I want the front uh, more of a rough cut. So I try to leave the line on this time and cut on this side. And that way I should have the thickness of my cutting disc left. Once this is separated and I butt them back together, we should have a near perfect fit. All right, we got the two wheel drive frame cut. See, we kept the line on the whole way, which is opposite of what we did on the other frame. happy with how straight I got it so this one should just pop apart and there she goes So this frame is four wheel drive and it sits up quite a bit higher than this frame because it's two wheel drive and vice versa over here. So I'll have to re-level them, but it looks like they're gonna be a pretty darn good match. We'll uh, get them fitted up, maybe tack them into place. Make sure our measurements from here to here are the same and make sure measurements from here to here are the same. And we're using this one here. But that was pretty easy. 
And then we gotta get them fitted up and square. The hard part's probably still in front of me, but cutting them is kind of stressful. If you mess it up or you don't take your time with your measurements, you just ruin two frames. So <laughs> hopefully they go together good. We'll um, cut back once I get these leveled out a little better. Well, I rolled these two together and I'm pretty happy with the fitment. I left them a little big with a line on, on purpose, so that I'd go through and trim a little bit off if I had to. So I have to close this gap here and get these circles to line up. But I've got plenty of room there, got plenty of room there. I've got the same story over here. Got to get that to line up. So I can trim some here. And this looks like if I just trim it there, I'll be able to move it forward here without doing too much at all. So I'm glad I left those big holes there. Um, it's almost like a, a perfect way to align it. I think she'll be pretty good. I'll have to get some uh, C-channel and plate just so I can get some more C-clamps on it and get it straight and pulled in the way it needs to be. But I'm real happy with that. I think that's probably one of the better ways to splice a frame back together. It really spreads out the load, it gives you more weld surface area, and then of course we'll fish plate the inside of it. It'll probably be stronger than it ever was. And then we'll swap the leaf springs and the rear end and the receiver hitch onto this frame. This truck's got 411 gears in it. This truck has 373s or 338s, I think. 338s. So I have to change those because the front end on this has 410s or 411s. But not bad for a couple hours' work. This would probably just take to the scrapyard. I can't think of any reason to keep it. Maybe we'll just cut off some of the frame and then we can actually use that to clamp this frame over here. And uh, that'll give us some nice angles to work with. So I'll probably keep some of that frame. This I think I'm gonna make a trailer and do. We'll pinch these together, put a trailer hitch on it. I've got the old bed from the rolled over truck that uh, is still in good enough shape to use so make like a little lawnmower trailer utility trailer out of this bed out of this frame I think that'll be worth doing you can see the uh, bed over here there's a nice bed that's going on the, the truck once the frames finished and this is the bed that it'll make a trailer out of. It's got some rot and dents in it from being rolled over and broken taillight, but tailgate's nice. This bed side's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll do something with that. Make a little trailer or something. Or maybe we'll scrap it, who knows. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments on what I could have done different on that frame, there's a better way to do it, an easier way to do it, I'm all ears. I don't claim to know everything. So let me know down in the comments and I appreciate you guys watching. You have a great weekend and we'll catch you later.